Your Most Excellency, Most Reverend Dr. Henry de Souza, Bishop of Ballari, Distinguished Chief Guest of this function, Sri Sugendra, Deputy Director of DDUP Ballari, Monsignor O. Vincent, the Vicar General of Ballari Diocese, Father Ivan Pinto, Public Relationship Officer, Diocese of Ballari, Father Rajapan S. Lazarus, Parish Priest, Sacred Heart Church, Port Vildari. C. Lawrence VSA, Assistant Sub-Inspector, Kaul Bazaar, Vildari. C. Ravi Matthew, Assistant Subject, Assistant Sub-Inspector, Kaul Bazaar, Vildari. Reverend Fathers, Sisters, Parents, 
alumni and well wishers it is with the sentiments of great joy and gratitude i extend to you all a very hearty and cordial welcome we are gathered here this evening to celebrate our success to display the talents of our contribution that played a role in bringing greatness to our students indeed today we are fortunate to have his excellency must be knowing him he is the head of an ecclesial unit called diocese bellary diocese bellary diocese comprises the seven districts of bellary vijayanagara raichur and koppa he has been incredible changes in the field of interreligious dialogue education and social work bellary diocese has made tremendous progress in every walk of life for the last 13 years his archbishop deserves our special appreciation and admiration for his foresight and integrity today his presence doubles our joy because he is the patron of our institution your lordship we are happy to have you as the president of this evening function on behalf of the staff and students i extend a very very hearty welcome let us give him a huge round of applause in the government science college chitradurga he pursued his masters in botany from manasa gangotri able to attend our annual day function due to unavoidable circumstances we are deeply indebted to him for his dedicated and committed service dear manshina vincent st john's portals will be always open to you you are wanted by our teachers students ellaru chappali kattabeke endu vinantisikolluttene our volunteers alli high school makkal idara alli kade kade sappa stage right side Joy. We have Reverend Father Ivan Pinto. His committed service as assistant teacher in our institution for three years. Served as manager of Saint Joseph's High School, and as a person is known for his simplicity, spirituality, public contact, and committed to his service. Dear Father Ivan, we value all your efforts you have done. ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ <laughs> my meetings with him have helped me to understand a simple person with beautiful qualities of love and affection no doubt he is a man of few words but they convey much meaning to all of us a loving well give them a big round of applause ellaru chappale tattabeke endu vinantisikolluttene as far as i know he is a multifaceted and a philanthropist a great orator and a voracious reader 
He is also known is for his creativity and experimenting new innovation in thoughts. He loves to be among students and young people. A cheerful welcome to you, dear Father Nelson. is the rent we pay for our space on earth. In this sense, our pride of St. John's, Mr. Lawrence VSA, is a true achiever in the field of public service. He entered the portals of St. John's as an innocent child in the year 1979, and later he proved himself to be the institution as a deserving student of St. John, just up inspector in Kaul Bazar Police Station. We are proud that our students... Come on, give them a big round of applause. You don't have to be great. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. We are Mr. Ravi Matthew, another achiever of our St. John's. Let me give you a nutshell of his remarkable service to the society. He had a childhood dream to be a police. When he completed his studies in the year 1984-85 from these universities and transformed himself to be what he is today. In the year 1992, he entered Kumar Swami PU College for his studies. During his college studies, he utilized his time for studies and worked the evening for his upkeep. Today, we are extremely proud. Too. Our college principal, Mr. Sanashwaram, is one among them. He is a gentleman of few words, but the few times he speaks, he does it from his heart. His life speaks more than what he say and does. Dear sir, we deep. It is in this sense our headmaster, Mr. Shant Silan, is a great teacher. He is one among the students, lovable, affectionate, and yet gets maximum out of students. On behalf of everyone gathered here, a cordial welcome to you, dear sir. Let's clap and welcome him. Give them a big round of applause. Primary school is blessed to have Sister Maria's Sister Mary's meticulous interest in imparting knowledge to our students. Her benevolent heart has always given us a perennial support and appreciation like a salt to the earth and light to the world. She has always spurred our students on to higher performance. At this juncture, we offer you a grateful welcome to you, dear sister. Let's give our Thank you, dear teachers, for your generous service. I welcome you, all teachers. We welcome you joyfully. Enjoy this colorful evening. 
Let me extend my warm welcome to all our young and dynamic students to this function. With a joyous and cheerful heart, we welcome you too. Ladies and gentlemen, looking around, I can see before me a sprinkling of honored guests from different walks of life, gracing this. Prithiya Palaka Poshakare, Uba Adhikari Mukhyastara Spurti Yegirubekwan Tandare, Bhatta Tumbuva Chila Galaga Bharadu. Uba Adhikari Spurti Yegirubekandare, Bhatta Tumbuva Chila Galaga Bharadu, Bhatta Bedeiva Hola Gatte Galaga Bhetu. Uba Mukhyastara Spurti Yegirubekwan, our Spurti Pullina Benki Aga Bharadu, Kalli Dalina Kavada Bhetu. Uba Vekti Spurtiya Chilme Agitare. Uba Uttama Navika I Abduri Kare Kramada Harikara Ruari Bereyaruala Pucha Father Walter Berejes. I on the Abduri Kare Kramake Navella Parwagi Aurige Atmiya Swagatvana Kurtaidane. light of life. It symbolizes knowledge, wisdom, grace and hope. God is a source and an illuminator of all darkness. Now, may I invite all the dignitaries to march forward and ignite the light of love and flag of... Respected sisters and parents, dear staff and students, a great evening to you all. I stand here to spell out few words on the purpose of this propitious day of the gathering. Today, we are here to make a noise over the magnanimous mercies and benevolence blessings favored by the Lord upon our St. John's institution as we celebrate the Christmas and annual day. We also exalt the Lord for his placid protection during the pandemic. It is an occasion of celebrating, felicitating, feast and festivity where students present not only their wonderful performances but also receive honors for their curricular and co-curricular achievements. We capture and wrap the entire year with memories and moments, recognized and celebrated events 
with the constant support of each and every one of St. John's family, especially constant extending love of the parents. So, we took it as a privilege to describe that our institution is a temple honored by the management and staff, worshipped by the devotees called students. Once again, I extend an honored and amiable welcome to you all to abide and delight at the journey that we have traveled in the year 2021 to 2022. Thank you and have a pleasant evening. And dig up information and repeat it or report it to others. But to find a real life story with real people in real life situation is quite difficult and time consuming. People who toil and witness the real glory and high honor of the St. John group of institutions. Now, may I call upon our high school headmaster, Mr. Shantu Shilam, to enumerate the report of this academic year 2022 and make us feel one with it. St. John's group of institutions, annual report for the year 2022 and 23. Distinguished personalities on this dais, His Excellency, Most Right Reverend Dr. Henry D. Sosha, Bishop of Bellari, Diocese and President of BDB. Our Chief Guest, Mr. Sugendra H. DDPU, Reverend Mansanjur O. Vincent Vikar General, Diocese of Bellari. Reverend Father Ivan Pinto, Public Relations Officer, Diocese of Bellari. Reverend Father Rajapan S. Lazarus, Parish Priest, Sacred Heart Church. Mr. Lawrence VSA, ASI, Kaulbajar Bellari. Mr. Ravi Matthew, ASI, Kaulbajar Bellari. Guest of Honor, Reverend Father Walter Menezes, and correspondent, St. John's Group of Institutions, Reverend Father Nelson Menezes, the Assistant Manager, St. John's Group of Institutions, Reverend Fathers, Sisters, by everyone. I feel honored to extend a hearty welcome to all of you on behalf of our manager, staff, and students on the special occasion of our annual day and Christmas function. <coughs> Learning is not the product of teaching. Learning is the product of activity of learners. There is always a podium laid for every individual. The dream, to desire, to determine, to decide the destiny. It gives me a great joy and pleasure to present the annual report of St. John's Group of Institutions for the year 22 and 23, which is being run under the aegis of Bellari Diocese Board of Education. BDB has established many more institutions in the heart of Bellari City and even in other districts. A child, once admitted in nursery class, can pass out POC in one campus or institution. The annual report showcases the achievements and glories of our school. Undoubtedly, but also makes us think deeply about our shortcomings, we have always been committed to create an environment in the school which helps the young minds to blossom and provide a platform for individual thinking and holistic development of the child's personality. We set standards of goals for ourselves and strive to achieve them, be it in the area of academics, sports, discipline, leadership, and more. Yes, this academic year, our institution has witnessed a steady growth and development in all spheres. Strength of the school, the academic year was officially inaugurated by our manager, Reverend Father Walter Menezes on 15th May 2022. Our institution, like a mother received in its embrace, the tender newborn ones, rising the strength, 
2,522 students enroll from nursery to standard 12. They are under the efficient guidance of 50 teaching staff, assisted by three non-teaching staff and eight maids. Each year, St. John's holds the annual prize distribution ceremony to honor those of its students who have made the school proud with the brilliant efforts not only in the academic field but also in the co-curricular areas. Academic achievements. The philosophy of the school classes, one generation, will be the philosophy of government in the next. I wish to begin with our performance on the academic front. Achieving academic excellence is at the heart of the endeavor as educators. Academic achievements reflect a demonstrated ability to perform to the best one's ability by developing one's intellectual potentials and skills with indels and other. Parents' teachers meeting was held, enabling the parents better follow up the program of studies in the school and for effective guidance at home with no undue pressure on students. The lessons are taught by many interesting ways by means of group studies, guided projects, role plays, and research work. Your dear parents, you have been a cooperative in providing your children all that you have needed for their academic. We take pride in telling you that we have already prepared 95 batches of SLC students and 33 batches of PUC students to the state board examinations. For many consecutive years, our students have secured 10% results in both SLC and PUC board examinations. Excellency in academics, he is the hallmark of any good institution and class 10 and 12. Results of the school provide without any doubt that our students have made us proud, excellent class, 10th result, has always filled us with the pride and I feel honored to mention that we had 95% in SLC. Results for the academic year 21 and 22. Out of 147 students who had taken SLC examinations, the topest was Miss Aditi Priya, who secured 566 out of uh, 625, 91%, making us elated for our achievements. Students in pass flying colors with five distinctions, 109 students securing A plus grade and 31 students securing uh, A2 grade. In class 12 section, Miss Kaveri has secured 95% in art stream, has stood the topper of the college. Many students have scored 100 of 100 in various subjects of commerce and uh, art section. School houses, parliament, and investor ceremony. Strength does not come from physical capacity. It comes from the unity. The students of the school are divided into four different houses. Red, green, blue, and yellow. Each house is managed by teachers and students as a house captain, house vice captain, and house prefects. The house of the duty performs its duty of conducting the day-to-day -day activities, competitions in systematic and disciplined manner. School parliament members were selected by conducting elections in the campus. It was done in a wonderful way. Students of class 9th and 10th took part in it. There was a meet the candidate program where all the students nominated introduced themselves to the children in the General Assembly. After the election, results were declared by the headmaster, school parliament members of 22-23. School people leader, boy, Master Hemant Raj, girl, Miss Pavitra A.G., and were assisted by the school people leaders, 
secretary, various house captains, vice captains and squad leaders. The investor ceremony is a platform to bring out the leadership skills and the abilities of our students and is the most solemn ceremony in the schedule of school events. The investor ceremony for the year 22-23 was held on 13 July 2022. The ceremony was held in lots of enthusiasm and joy. It was initiated by lighting the lamp and a new nominated students were assigned various duties. The oath taking ceremony was administered by our headmaster, Mr. Shantushilan, and headmistress, Mrs. Uh, Sister Mary Sarita. Co-curricular activities and school club. The quality of thinking determines the quality of your mind. Participation is the science, maths, English, related debate, speech and essay competition where a student competes to outshine others. It infuses a healthy competitive spirit through words based assessment. Our students have brought many laurels to our institution. Various co-curricular activities are held under the different clubs to develop a child physically, morally, socially, and mentally, and to hone skills in co-holistic areas. Every Thursday during the SUPW, our regular club activities are held in which the students participate and display their caliber and talents. The different clubs are cultural club, science club, health club, dance club, drama club, sports club, arts and craft club, eco club, and Red Cross Society, etc. The child from primary section have participated in the cluster level Pratibha Karanji held at the Medina School and have won many prizes in various competitions. Our college students participated in the district level mock parliament competition conducted on 5th November 2022. Ms. Sania Tapasam of PUC has won second prize in essay competition on the National Otis Day. On 15th November 22, Bellardi district level cultural activities competition was conducted at BPC. Bellari, Miss Jyoti of Pew First Year Commerce and Mr. Rahul Baman of First Year Arts have got a second prize in singing Janapada song and the Kannada debit competition. Mr. Danush of Second Year Arts have won second prize in Kannada Pick and Speak competition in the program Kannada Jatra organized by Nimagagi Nabu. Samaste at JTS School. Proficiency test and improvement in campus. Nothing changes until you change. Everything changes once you change. Play things are provided for the time of kindergarten section to enable to make the little children learn better in a playful way. Mental ability test for class 11, sorry, 4 to class 7. Students was held to judge the students power of reasoning, ability to think and to judge. Evaluate the discriminate and the ability to visualize in the space. Aptitude test of class 10 students was undertaken to uncertain their capabilities and interest in different discipline. The outcomes of this test is shared by our staff members and with the parents and the guidance and provide in the required fields, sports and games. To be great a champion, you must believe you are the best. If you are not keep on trying. Sports competition inculcate the spirit of positive challenges and sportsmanship among the students and prepare them for the life ahead. Sports gems, physical fitness, occupy a place of importance in our curriculum. Our students actively participated in different sports competitions and won medals, certificates, and trophies. The students of our institution have participated at different levels. Our primary section students 
uh, participated in the march past even in the stadium on 15th August 2022 and have won the first prize in the event. At district level, primary section and high school students have participated in handball tournament conducted in Koppal district and have stood a winners of an handball tournament and are selected a divisional level and have participated in divisional level. At the district level of high school students participated in football tournament and have stood as a runners. Our high school students are selected in divisional level cricket tournament from Bellari. At taluk level and district level and the college section stood, have stood winners in Coco tournament and have participated in state level Coco tournament held in Bijapur. They say girls are less than boys not less than boys. To show their talent, our college girls have participated in taluk level and district level athletics. Among the participants, five of them are college girls, Mayeshwari, Shantamma, Rajeshwari, Shanti, and Annapurna constantly won gold and silver medals in various sports events, have participated at the state level athletic meet held at Mangalore, on 16th and 17th December 2022. At Taluk level athletics, athletics, our high school boys have won first prize in running and long jump and were selected to divisional level. The provider of St. John's game, football, it was a great privilege for us and our institution as a college hoisted a state level football tournament for girls. Our college have also participated in national level football tournament held at the Andaman and Nicoba Islands in the year 2021. In this academic year, our students have participated in state level football tournament held at St. John's PU College, the ones who brought laurels to our college and to Karnataka State by winners again are Chandu, Mr. Tosif, Abdul, and Razak Nadaf, Rahul Shashank, Aditya, Jayant, and Kumaraswamy. These students are about to participate in national level football tournament to be held at Jaipur, Rajasthan. The dates are yet to be finalized. We wish players all the very best. Educational tour and excursion. All our work no play makes Jack dull boy. Our primary and high school students had a one-day picnic to Bhagyodaya Amusement Water Park and the children enjoyed the play and fun during the visit. All the staff members of primary, high school and college of our institution had a two-day trip to Dandeli where the staff members had an opportunity to know each other better. We are planning to take a children an excursion to Hyderabad in the month of January. Celebrations. We celebrated all the important days include Investor Ceremony, Independence Day, Teachers Day, Gandhi Jayanti, Kannada Rajosava, Kanaka Janta Jayanti, Valmiki Jayanti, Children's Day, Republic Day, etc. Various competitions were conducted and children participated and won many prizes. Student seminar and workshop. A person who never makes a mistake, never tries anything new. To ensure that our students are well equipped with knowledge to face any challenge, we have focused sessions on special topics including helping the needy, disaster management, basic life support, health and hygiene for girls, career counseling, leadership skills, career planning and development, environmental protection, etc. A special note, our children have shown great generosity in helping the poor and disaster people. They have donated nearly one lakh rupees to the necessary and the needy people. Teachers in service training and workshops, live as if you were to die tomorrow, Learn as if you were to live forever. 
the learning of learners in keeping with the school's policy of continuous upgradation of knowledge and skills current trends of teaching and learning necessities a regular updating of teachers including me constantly strived to stay updated by attending various virtual seminar seminars workshops and training programs our teachers also attended various workshop and seminars organized by the school and other so as to improve their academic transaction skills and to update their capabilities self defense awareness i don't even call it violence it's in a self defense i call it intelligence be an opponent not a victim creating awareness among our students is the need of the time keeping in mind the safety of the children a preliminary workshop on self defense and the girl students was organized under the guidance of police personnel kaul bazar police station bellari they encouraged the students and raised voice against any misconducted and bring them to book the girls were encouraged to either share their problem verbally or to drop the letter in the drop box instantly in the school we have to full fledge self defense workshop be organized by bellari police for our students and teachers many milestones have been achieved and many still have to be reached we at st john's will continue our unceasing efforts to mold the young minds into well balanced personalities with the confidence and zeal befitting the standards of this portal of education sincere thanks ladies and gentlemen this report is sincere attempt to showcase our progress in terms of achievements and activities during the year on this memorable occasion as we recount our success with pride and happiness we wish to dedicate all our achievements to the committed efforts of the committed team called st john's group of institutions we humbly salute our visionary leaders of the past and the great ones of the present seek the divine grace and blessing to guide us in all our endeavors i hope you will enjoy today's program being present by our students thank you ಮುದ್ದು ಮಕ್ಕಳೇ ಬೆಟ್ಟ ಎಂದಿಗೂ ಯಾರ ಮುಂದೆ ತಲೆಬಾಗಲ್ಲ ಬೆಟ್ಟ ಎಂದಿಗೂ ಯಾರ ಮುಂದೆ ತಲೆಬಾಗಲ್ಲ ಆದರೆ ಕಷ್ಟಪಟ್ಟು ಬೆಟ್ಟವನ್ನು ಹತ್ತಿದರೆ ಆ ಬೆಟ್ಟ ನಮ್ಮ ಪಾದದ ಕೆಳಗಿರುತ್ತದೆ ಕಷ್ಟಪಟ್ಟು ನಾವೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಆ ಬೆಟ್ಟವನ್ನು ಹತ್ತಿದರೆ ಎತ್ತರವಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಬೆಟ್ಟ ನಮ್ಮ ಪಾದದ ಕೆಳಗಿರುತ್ತದೆ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಜೀವನದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಕಷ್ಟಪಟ್ಟು ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಯಶಸ್ಸು ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಕಟ್ಟಿಟ್ಟ ಬುತ್ತಿಯಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಆತ್ಮೀಯ ಪಾಲಕ ಪೋಷಕರೇ ಒಬ್ಬ ಇತಿಹಾಸಕಾರ ಇತಿಹಾಸವನ್ನು ಬರೆಯಬೇಕಾದರೆ ಅವನಿಗೆ ಪುರಾವೆಗಳ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಆಧಾರಗಳು ಸಾಕ್ಷ್ಯಗಳ ಆಧಾರದ ಮೇಲೆ ಇತಿಹಾಸಕಾರ ಇತಿಹಾಸವನ್ನು ಬರೀತಾನೆ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಒಂದು ಸಂತಜಾನ್ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ನೂರು ವರ್ಷಗಳ ಇತಿಹಾಸವನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿರತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಬಳ್ಳಾರಿಯ ಹೃದಯ ಭಾಗದಲ್ಲಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಿತ ವಿದ್ಯಾಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಹಲವಾರು ನೂರ ಮೂವತ್ತೇಳು ವರ್ಷಗಳ ಇತಿಹಾಸವನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿದೆ ಹಳೆಯ ವಿದ್ಯ ಶಾಲೆಯ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥಾಪಕರಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಪೂಜ್ಯ ಫಾದರ್ ವಾಲ್ಟರ್ ಮೆನೇಜರ್ಸ್ ಈ ಒಂದು ಪುಸ್ತಕ ಕರಡು ಸಮಿತಿಯ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರು ಅಂತಂದರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಹಾಯಕ ಗುರುಗಳಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ನೆಲ್ಸನ್ ಮೆನೇಜರ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತು ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಅತಿಥಿಗಳು ಫಾದರ್ ರಾಜಪ್ಪ ಅವರು ಫಾದರ್ ಐವರ್ ಪಿಟ್ ಅವರು ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ವೇದ ಮುಂದೆ ಬರಬೇಕು
agencies. Thank you and special words of appreciation to dear Father Nelson Managers for gathering and compiling this booklet. Acknowledgement to Reverend Father Walter Managers, the manager and correspondent of this institution, our PU College Principal, Mr. Stanna Shivra, our High School Headmaster, Mr. Shantu Shilan, and Sister Mary Sarita, the Headmistress of Higher Primary Section, for joining their hands and bringing out this 